Hi, I'm Joanne Jennings, editor of the Bixby Bulletin. Well, actually, I'm the Bixby editor of the South County Leader, but I'm here today with uh, Connie Routson, who recently spoke to one of the Bixby Garden Clubs, and she's going to tell us about arranging flowers, and I know you're going to love it. Well, Connie, I understand that you were a guest the other day at the Garden Club. Oh, I was. I was just so honored that they asked me to do that. Well, one thing they mentioned is that you told them the history of flowers, or was it flower arranging? What was it you talked about? I took them all the way back to the Roman Empire and started uh, uh, all the way up to where the flowers ranging really began in uh, Japan. And uh, they really found that quite interesting. We went through the Byzantium Empire and how uh, the flowers arranged. Some of the people went back to the to the temples and copied the flower art that they had in the temples and did quilts out of them. So uh, they found that interesting too. Well, when did you first start flower arranging? I've been doing it for 30 years. And uh, I started back in the early 80s, but I actually, my mom took me from the time I was a little bitty girl until, um, well, I, I followed her when I was just very tiny. And she was, she did flower arranging, but she was not trained, but she really was very good. And uh, she taught me a lot of what I know today. I didn't know I was being trained when I was little, that she was very very talented that's where my talent I think begins is from my mom what do you think your favorite part about this job is making people happy um, you can make people happy even in death you can make them happy so uh, that's that's my favorite part I think of the whole thing is, is making the people and, and and serving people and 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 doing the things that they want done and uh, so that's really my favorite. Part. Have you learned on the job? I have, but uh, I have also been trained. I've been to several different schools and uh, to several different trade schools in uh, floral design. Yes. I, I guess Valentine's Day and Easter and when you get three or four funerals at once must just be unbelievable. Well, you really have to be prepared. You have to plan ahead. And, uh, and, and be organized. Organize is the most important thing. It is stressful, but um, you, you, if you plan ahead and have everything planned the way it's supposed to be, then you, you, everything will work out just fine. And the stress level goes down, but it's still there. <laughs> okay. Connie, I had an aunt and uncle with a flower shop, and I tried to work for them a couple of times, and it scared me to death, because they had me uh, sticking wires in, in flowers and I break them and I'd feel bad so what advice do you have for people in flower arranging? Actually we don't borrow the flowers anymore we find that if you put a, a wire in a flower it opens up a, a hole for bacteria and also the flowers their heads are so strong enough you don't need to put a wire in them anymore and I'll, you would only put it in there if they were weak but if they're weak we won't use them anyway. Well I'm curious about something um, do you just arrange flowers or do you like to grow them? Do you have a garden? I do have a container garden at home. Uh, we have a lot of acreage but we have a lot of moles <laughs> and we have and I th they have eaten all my flowers so I have to grow them in containers. <laughs> so but I do have a lot of containers. When I first moved into my house I couldn't wait to uh, plant flowers and uh, I went out and bought some some really pretty um, dahlias and put them in my garden. And I, I was so excited. I, I watered them, got everything fixed, and went to bed that night, got up the next morning, went out to water my dahlias, and there wasn't one dahlia there. The moles had eaten every one of them, stem, leaves, and all. There wasn't even a sign of a dahlia. It was like somebody had pulled them up and filled the holes back in. And so from then on, I've had to container garden. 